Hi folks, just wanted to quickly make a video version of an explanation. I think it might be more clear this way than if I write it all down. I just posted a, another resource for you all with some instructions on how to search uh, using full text searching using a tool called Music Index so that you could search for uh, anything that you'd want to find out in Bluegrass Unlimited. So you can do that through the Shared uh, website. Now I want to just quickly show you another interesting resource that might be useful for y'all. It's called the Bluegrass Discography. And you can probably just search for that using a web, uh, web search engine. Uh, you can also go to the ibiblio.org page, ibliorg page, and you can find it. It's a community passion project. It's something that folks put together because they love the music and they wanted to make sure that folks could find information that they were needing. This is something that was really lacking in the early days of bluegrass type music. Uh, folks just didn't really know about the stuff that they were hearing on the radio. They didn't have any liner notes and there was sure no internet to help them. So this this is a, a continuation of the effort that many of folks have been going through for decades to spread information about the, the people and the situation, the, in, the environments where, where recordings were made. So quickly, uh, just wanted to show this to you if you wanna you know, uh, learn about a certain article or, or artist, for instance, uh, someone's uh, doing uh, some research on E.C. Miller for this class. So you could search for E.C. Miller and you come up with Dusty Miller, who's a, a, a group of folks you might recognize some of them. You can search for that and learn more about them. You have the Miller brothers, Chalky Miller and his Texas presidents, which I've never heard of before. Uh, and then we keep going down, Roger Miller. And then here we have E.C. Miller and Susan Taylor, right? Um, if you don't know who E.C. Taylor is, he's, a, he's someone who taught at, our, at the BLUB program for a while. He's a, an influential banjo player in the area. And so here he's got his uh, record with Susan Taylor. It's got publication date. It's got uh, song information. And it's even got a little bit of the track uh, information here. So you, sometimes you can, you can get a little more info on the recordings there. One big thing that I wanted to point out, though, is that if you are, for instance, if you are writing your uh, Wikipedia uh, entry on E.C. Miller, you could look up in Bluegrass Unlimited a review of this record that was published in, in the magazine. So here you can see it's the date is 1973 and the month is August. So you would go to the archives, talk to uh, one of the archivists there and say that you were interested in this record review from the August 1973 uh, edition of, of Bluegrass Unlimited. So it's an interesting way to learn more about the music and also uh, to learn about what folks were thinking about it when it was released. And this will be especially uh, important for if you're studying the period in which things were happening, but it can also give you some uh, information on uh, earlier periods, you know, if there's a reissue or something like that. So just wanted to give you all a chance to, to see this and see it in action. And let me know if you have any questions about how to use this resource. Uh, all right. Thanks, y'all. Take care.